This May, legendary singer Cho Young-pil begins his concert tour across the nation to commemorate the 50th year anniversary of his debut. Spanning his 50-year career, Cho has released 19 official albums and dozens of his songs have charted it in the top 10. His historic musical achievements don't stop there. He was the first musician in Korean music history who sold more than 1 million copies. One of his songs topped a TV station's music chart for 10 consecutive weeks, making the station create a new rule to limit being at number one for up to five weeks. Younger listeners may dismiss his music by disregarding it as old 80s music, but legions of his dedicated fans who will still fill the concert halls for his sold-out shows would think differently. Cho is believed to be one of the few musicians in Korea who are both critically acclaimed and commercially successful. He says he still listens to and delves into various genres of pop music, including the newest hits embraced by young people 50 years his junior. He also says he still wants to explore new genres of music. He likes to challenge himself and said he would never be free from music until his dying day. Cho Young-pil's army of dedicated fans hope for many more years of great performances and music. There is a TV show where young musicians pay homage to Cho by playing different versions of his song. Um, So to pay homage, uh, we use it when you uh, want to reference someone but or, or something, but also uh, kind of to pay respect. Um, so if you know you're watching a movie and uh, you see a scene from another movie, that's kind of like paying homage to the other director. Um, in this case, you if you play someone's song, you are paying homage to them. There is a show dedicated to covering Cho's songs. Younger musicians perform their own version of his songs on air. Um, so I said the show's dedicated to covering Cho's songs. So to cover a song is uh, when someone plays a, a version of an original song. It's not their own, but they're playing their own style of that song. We call it covering. Cho's love of music hasn't faded. He keeps his finger on the pulse of today's music by listening to the current Billboard pop hits. Um, so I mentioned uh Cho's love of music hasn't faded. Um, if something is faded, it usually loses its color or we, it kind of changes. So to fade when we talk about love means to lose its power or to grow distant. So if you love someone, but then stop loving them over time, the love is fading. So it's kind of going away slowly. So Cho's love of music hasn't faded. And then next, he keeps his finger on the pulse of today's music. So to keep your finger on the pulse, it's uh, it's like if you take your finger and put it on your body and you feel your heartbeat. But to keep your finger on the pulse means you are keeping up with current trends or new ideas. So by listening to recent pop music, you are keeping up with it. You're keeping your finger on the pulse. Cho is constantly following the top pop music groups so he can keep up with all the new music that is coming out. He has a constant desire to create new and innovative music. Yeah, so I said uh, he is constantly following the top pop music groups so he can keep up. Like I said, keep your finger on the pulse. You're keeping up. You're analyzing the new trends. And last, he he has a constant desire to create new and innovative music music. So a constant desire means your desire or your want is constant. It's always there. So he always wants to make new music, a constant desire. There are not many musicians who have achieved his level of success while maintaining respect of the people in the industry. Um, So I said, uh, there are not many musicians who have achieved his level of success while maintaining the respect of people in the industry. Um, So when you're using maintaining, uh, what we're talking about here is comparing two things. So he was very successful, but he's also maintained a certain level of respect. So meaning a lot of people, once they become successful, they may lie or cheat. Uh, or steal from other people, therefore are not respected. But Cho was able to be successful, but also be respected. So we use maintaining respect. 
Not only is Cho successful, he is loved and respected by his fans, critics, and fellow musicians. Cho's music reaches a wide range of people from young to old. So Cho's music reaches a wide range, a wide range meaning uh, from a small number to a big number. So it means young people like him and old people and everyone in the middle. K-pop groups usually have a younger age range of fans, but Cho's fan base spans generation. Um, so a fan base is uh, who is a fan of uh, a band, a movie, uh, a singer, uh, pretty much anything. We call it a fan base. So Cho has a very large fan base. Contrary to mainstream K-pop music that focuses a lot on the visual aspects of a performance, a lot of music lovers want to hear well-composed songs from the heart. Um, so I said, contrary to the mainstream K-pop. So what we're doing is we're comparing uh, Cho's music to mainstream or very popular K-pop music. That's when we, we're going to use contrary at the beginning of a sentence. Um, and then when we, the last part was compose songs from the heart. Uh, so songs from the heart are songs that reflect love loss, you know, wins in life, but songs that have a lot of feeling to it um, and talk about emotions. So we call those songs from the heart. There will always be a demand for great music. Good music defies age, looks, and is appreciated by everyone. So I said good music defies age, looks, and is appreciated. So to defy something is to go against. So if you have a great song, it really doesn't matter who sings it or what they look like. Everyone will appreciate it. So good music, what it does, it, it, it trumps all the other things that might be visual or people expect from a musician. Thanks for downloading, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.